huge crush on you. Cause it's getting so gross. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys know anything about me, which I like to think you do, cause this is my fam bam watching, I have been obsessed with truth or dare. Like I remember every time like doing sleepovers, having like trying to find an app on my phone that would do a truth or dare type thing. I loved playing truth or dare with my exes when they were my boyfriends at the time. And even I remember when I was in Korea turning 25, we were at the bar and I was like, let's play truth or dare. <laughs> I mean, this video is a little bit sad that I think you need to give it a like right now because I am going to be spinning this wheel, having the spinning wheel decide my dares, and I'm doing it all by myself, and that's kind of sad. <laughs> so right now in the comments, you need to let me know some really good dares to put on the spinning wheel next time, and then whom should I invite? Like, I'm thinking like Olivia or Kayleen, I don't know, one of my sexy friends. Enough of this introduction. So I have 14 slots here on this wheel and I have 13 dares. Um, for the 14th one, where is it? I have right here, it says spin again. So that's kind of like a free pass because in this video, I am not going to spin all 14 times. I'm only gonna spin seven. If I get any repeats, of course I will spin again. Okay, I'm nervous. It's like, look at, <laughs> my setup is so bad. This is sitting on an ottoman, and so if I were to spin it hard enough, it's literally gonna roll off the ottoman, <laughs> like break on camera. I hope that doesn't happen, but okay. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, reveal a Snapchat memory. Here is the Snapchat memory. Ready, set, go. One can of black olives. Now, I actually love black olives, <laughs> and I have a can of them, so that's what made me come up with this. But usually I eat like half a can at a time. A whole can's a little, little nauseating. And a lot of people don't like black olives, so I think you guys are gonna be nauseous watching me. Okay, let me see if I can go get it. If this falls, I'm going to cry. One second. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> So I'm actually found these ankle weights and I'm going to use them to stabilize this baby. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. I feel so much better about things. Okay, and then I have these ripe pitted black olives that I got from Sprouts. Shout out to Sprouts. I love Sprouts. Okay, this is how many <laughs> there were. I can like smell them from here. So I decided in true fashion, I'm not going to get a fork or a spoon or whatever. Are you one of those people that does them like this? It's like... <laughs> I think Meghan Markle was really good at this. to go I don't I love black olives and now I think I ruined it for me like I'm gonna have to wait a whole year before I go back to Olive Garden 
just trying my best. If I throw up, well, at least I have this to throw up in, but like if I throw up, I'm going to be real sad. I don't know if you can tell because the liquid's so dark, but these are the last three, and I'm just going to eat them at the same time. See, I haven't even finished chewing this one because it's so small because it's getting so gross. Uh, I'm dribbling and I'm going to die. Done. <laughs> I want a nap. Now I'm cranky. Okay, I put this stuff away in the kitchen and I am going to just fake it till you make it because I feel queasy. <laughs> So now we are on to the third spin. Spin again. Yes. Again. Don't look yet, but okay, I just need to ask you guys, like right now I am feeling like a kid's channel so hardcore. One minute hooping, and then, I don't know if you can see because it's so dark, but I did like a hula hoop. It's like a weird donut. Um, okay, I haven't hooped since my challenge. And even then I wasn't that good. because I was out of breath and panting. <laughs> okay, next spin. Spin again. <laughs> okay, fine. We won't count that because I feel like you guys would be pretty mad at me. So, okay. Spam a random high school girl. Because who doesn't want to be spammed? And by me. I'm like recording directly into iMovie and I need to find a girl to spam. When I did this dare, I should have like made a mental note of what girl I was going to do. <sighs> There's a girl that I follow. I don't know if I really like her stuff though. She is from high school. I graduated with her. She's in my graduating class. Let me go to her photos. Oh my gosh, no, I kind of feel bad. I only like some of her pics. I am going to spam her so hardcore. It's going to be awkward. And I'm sorry to totally be screen sharing, but I want to respect the privacy of this girl because I'm not for sure if her Instagram is private or she's a private person, but like seriously, like, I'll show you guys from like afar where you can't identify anybody. Time to spam her up and make her feel uncomfortable. So these first few photos, are pretty recent, so it's like, wait, not that recent, February 16th. Wow, this girl doesn't really post. Ooh, okay, I'm going into 2018 now. <laughs> Here's her in a bikini. <laughs> her dogs, oh, I keep tapping on the wrong thing. Okay, I am spamming the crud out of her, and like we were in the same French class, but we didn't really talk. We weren't in the same friendship circle. She was really sporty. Um, I don't really know her very well enough to like comment, but I'm for the most part, we had pretty good interactions. But it's just, you know how it is, like, even if it's not in your social circle, it's not in your social circle. You're not going to hang out in high school. So, okay, well, how far back am I? 2016. Oh, gosh. It would have been more awkward if I just only liked the bikini pictures. <laughs> We're getting closer to the end, which, I don't know, so far I am kind of enjoying it. And the olives have started digesting nicely. So, I kind of like this. I don't know. I don't want to say I do because I feel like I'll jinx myself and get a terrible, embarrassing dare. But let's see.
50 push-ups. I knew it. I knew that I would jinx myself. Oh, this is miserable already. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is... Ow. Okay, I'm going to do, like, girl push-ups. Wow, I really thought I would be able to do those then. So embarrassing. Subscribe to my fitness channel. <laughs> okay, let me do girl push ups, which is so sexist. Let me do a, like an easier type of push up. Can we like just like loop that clip? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> online. Um, here's a secret that doesn't make me look good. <laughs> it's like a little story time that I have not shared with you guys. So I remember that I went to a Sigma Chi mixer and oh god I don't want to say this story. Okay I will because okay let's just be real I was a bit of a brat sometimes in college and I was always super, like, had a love-hate relationship with fraternities because the boys would treat the girls like total crap. Yet, I love boys and I was attracted to boys and I wanted their attention. Do you see how it's like a never-ending cycle? So, so many times, like, I wanted to troll the guys, get props with my sisters, this and that. So, I went to, I was pre-gaming for a Sigma Chi mixer. And I don't know what it was, I, if I mixed alcohols or if I kind of reached my threshold or my peak already, where I got to a point where I was really sensitive to shots and like hard liquor. So I was a vodka kind of girl, I was drinking some vodka, and then we're in my dorm, and then it's time to leave. And I'm like, hold on one second. I throw up, not in the toilet, in the sink. <laughs> Did I leave that in the sink? Cause like, <laughs> I think I, I think I did leave it in the sink because it was kind of chunky, like not all of it could go down and like we were gonna be late. So I think I did like a half butt job, like trying to clean out the sink. <sighs> okay, this makes me sound like even terrible because now I'm being like a brat to my roommates as well. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so then because we were gonna be late, I didn't brush my teeth, <laughs> which is so, so gross. <laughs> because I probably had like Mexican food with the vodka, go to the mixer, and then I make out with two Sigma Chi guys and literally don't even address the fact that my breath smells like puke. It was really just, oh God. I remember like I'd make out with a guy and then I'd go back to the girls and be like, hee hee hee, my throw up mouth, hee hee. <laughs> like that's so gross. Like what reputation is that to have? And then I go, I went, and then I kissed another boy, and then I came back and I was like, hee hee. <laughs> so bad. This is trashy. I was trashy. Just, just tell me now. I was so trashy. But, okay, there's the secret. <laughs> that might be a good story time later on to go in depth with on my channel, but I haven't shared it yet, so I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm kind of having fun. So I know we did seven spins, but I'm gonna give you guys a bonus one. One bonus. And if I don't like it, I'm not gonna do it. Confess love to old crush. This is hard because I have a zillion crushes. <laughs> I have my crushes from like lower school, then middle school, and then high school, and then college. That's a, it's a lot of crushes. 
So really I can choose from anybody. Okay, so I am going through like my Facebook Messenger list and seeing maybe that's the way to go to confess my love, but it's hard to, I don't know. There's like all chicks on here. I kinda still want it to be genuine, but at the same time, I'm not looking for something. Like that is such a pickup line for a girl to drop into a boy's DMs and be like, I used to have the biggest crush on you. Ugh. Don't really want to stir up some drama there because I realized that, you know, people are getting older, they're getting into serious relationships and I didn't want to stir like any trouble with like a boy who had a girl and make the girl self-conscious, like what's happening. So this boy, I'm just going to give you his first name. His name is George. I met him my freshman year at Tampa. I didn't, I mean, I thought he was cute. So I'm counting that like I had a crush on him, but it was really funny because there was this girl that I used to be friends with in college and she went a bit cray cray and she had a boyfriend back at home. And then everybody knew that, but still like the guys didn't really care that she had a boyfriend. And then she ended up sleeping with him and she thought that she'd be put on a pedestal and he was so popular and in a fraternity. And then he just kind of ignored her after that. And it was just a weird situation and she got mad and then she left Tampa, blah, blah, blah. So it's just gonna be weird if I like, write to him. I'm gonna leave a message. Hey George, I have been bottling up my feelings for so long in Tampa and now just keeping up with you on social media. I know this is, this is so random, but I need to say it. I had and still have <laughs> a huge crush on you. Sent it and I'm screenshotting and I am sorry it's like a mirror camera I'm throwing it up right there for you guys to see this legit happened and I'm gonna have to give you guys an update of how it went down okay hey hi I'm the update here I'm editing this and he hasn't responded and I don't have any indication telling me that he's even read my message. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's one of those guys that barely checks social media. So my update for you guys is going to be in like two months. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I know I haven't done a video like this before. So if you do like it and you're thinking that you need to watch around two, around three, some embarrassing dares, some sexy dares, all with me and my girlfriends, you're going to have to give this video a like and subscribe to join the fam bam because the fam bam is pretty coolio love you mean it bye guys yeah.